Welcome back to another content review on the channel. We have 93 Player of the Month Mbappe. He is a 4 million plus SBC, and I'm going to explain to you why I think you should wait to complete this SBC. I'm Slater, and let's dive into how you can get this card, potentially down the road, at a significantly cheaper cost than the crazy price tag that is on this SBC. So here he is, our second Player of the Month Mbappe of FIFA 23. We just had one not that long ago. Five star, four star, high, low work rates. One key note here on this card compared to the last player of the month card. The last player of the month card was a striker center forward, left wing and right wing option for you. This card does not have right wing versatility. Internally, he has 98 pace, incredible shooting stats, good passing stats, 88 vision with 90 short passes, really nice. Crazy dribbling stats as we know, and a huge boost in his physical from the player of the month. We're gonna go over on footbin. I'm gonna explain to you how you can grind this card and potentially get it for a lot cheaper. Solid player, flair, uh, outside the foot shot traits as well. Internally, he is an 86, an 87 with the team of the week, an 88, an 88, an 88 with the team of the week, an 89, an 89, an 89, an 89, an 89 with the team of the week, a 90, a 90, and another 90 with a team of the week. It is an absolutely absurd SBC, okay? If you look at it like that, if you see the cards, it goes, you're like, I'll never do this, right? And I would not blame you. And I'm not sitting here telling you to do this SBC. It is 4 million plus coins worth of fodder. But what I will say is, is that Mbappe is a phenomenal card. If you didn't do the last player of the month and you're sick of getting killed by him in Weekend League, I'm explaining to you why you could complete this card, how we could make it a lot more affordable for you. So let's go dive into this SBC. First and foremost, we want to see the value or the upgrade that he has over other cards. So he's a 4.6 million coins right now. Granted, you have to understand that fodder is up organically because simply people are not really opening as many packs right now. There's nothing in packs. So fodder is at a higher price and foot birthday is coming out on Friday. People love foot birthday. They're saving a ton of packs for foot birthday. If you say, which is going to be one of the best, best methods to get this card, the price of this card will go down. I do believe that thoroughly. But what we want to know is, okay, compared to his last player of the month, he has one more shooting, two more passing, one more dribbling, two more defending, and three more physical. I will say the big key ones are, yeah, I love the two more passing, two more vision, and two more short passes. is fantastic. The one boost in shooting and, and dribbling is still really nice. Would have loved to see him at 99 on the pace splits. But what I will say, the biggest boost for this card that is probably going to be slept on is that he's gotten four more stamina, three more strength. Um, I love the physical boost that he got on the card because that four more stamina alone is incredibly valuable um, for this card. And what I will say is he's at 4.6 million coins. I added it up. There's about 250,000 coins worth of pack value, which isn't great, by the way. The pack should be significantly better for what the SBC is. But nonetheless, if you compare him to his 93 card on the market, he is 4.2 million coins. And some people will sit there and they'll say, well, listen, so like, why would I want to do an SBC? It's over 4 million coins when I could have like the trade one on the market. Well, most people don't have 4 million coins. I think that's always the comparison. Like he should never be priced higher than the price of the market. And I get that hundred percent. And I agree with that. He, this card should be priced lower in my, in my, at least even just one less 90 rated squad. But what I will say is this 99% of you will never have 4 million coins. And if you miss that last Mbappe, you might sit there and go, I really want to kill an Mbappe. I really want a special Mbappe. And this is basically my only chance to get it. So let's try and figure out how you can get it for a lot cheaper. Well, there's a lot of methods already in the game. He's out for 34 days. That's very important for you to know. And in the next 34 days, we're going to get a lot of different opportunities. First and foremost, if you've been doing your 82 by 20s or your 83 double upgrades and you're saving them for foot birthday, there's a very real chance that you'll get a lot of different S uh, or fodder that you can put into this SBC. But it still doesn't get you anywhere near necessarily the 90 rated squads what i will say on top of that which we now know is confirmed is foot birthday swaps is here right so over the next two week period of the foot birthday promo all the way into i believe it's april 7th if i recall correctly you'll have the ability to get swap rewards and what we know already from swap rewards the very minimum there's going to be an 85 by 10 pack there'll probably be an 84 by 20 based on other swaps we've had in the past maybe an 83 by 25 stuff like that and these are very realistic means for you to potentially get more and more fodder to help complete this squad. And we also know about when swaps have happened and what that message was last uh, week in Foot Birthday. Although I've done it already, right? We have, for example, we know for a fact that we're going to get First Owner Fiesta back. And First Owner Fiesta is 83 doubles, 83 doubles, 81 by, 81 by twos, 82 by tens, right? We know that for a fact. We have the Silver Cup out. 
uh, which is another opportunity to get this. Last year during Foot Birthday, there was also a Foot Birthday segment in the game uh, in our objective category that was like a gameplay grind that you could get more packs back, like 85 by 2, stuff like that, right? So there are going to be a lot of opportunities to you organically to grind the game, even if you wanted to, for example... Like upcoming, if you're doing these, I'm not. I'm not personally doing a lot of these. But let's say you did Jack Reelish's SPC that's dropping. I think today, he's an 88 rated base card. But there's an 88 rated card that you can put back in the SPC. For example, on um, was this Thursday? Thursday, I believe that would be. Like Ederson will have a 90 rated base card that you can put into the SPC. So there's going to be a lot of different opportunities for you to help reduce this cost significantly. You just have to be okay with being patient and completing the SBC. Like I said, dude, this SBC is wildly overpriced. By the way, if you enjoyed the video, if this helped you at all, hit that like button. Sub if you're new. We do content reviews on the channel every single day. So appreciate you guys hanging in with me. I'm not saying you should do the SBC. I'm not saying that he's even, you know, good value. I think he should probably be, in my opinion, at least 500k cheaper, which I would say is probably just a 90 rated squad should just be completely removed from this SBC. But what I am saying to you is if you do want this card, right, wait to complete it. Grind the game organically. Because I can tell you right now, in the 34 days that he's out, if you get this SPC done in, let's say, 20 days, okay? Obviously, you want Mbappe as quickly as possible. If you get Mbappe done in 20 days, he'll still be Mbappe. He'll still be an absolutely cracked, incredible card. And he'll still be a phenomenal card for you to put into your team. So if you want this card, if you didn't do the other player of the month, and you're chasing an Mbappe, that is how you should grind the card, in my opinion. Grind the game like an absolute maniac. Give yourself the best opportunity. 82 by 20s, 83 doubles, 82 by 10s from first center fiesta, foot birthday swaps. Do everything in your power to make this SBC significantly cheaper. That's your kind of review for the day. If you enjoyed the video, like I said, hit that like button. Sub if you're new to the channel. It's greatly appreciated. We'll catch you again for a video later today because we've got more content coming out later today. Uh, that isn't the Mbappe review. Peace.